Okay, time to get in the hive and confront the Also just Mallard, ahead. I'm in the hive. What's your plan? Find Lee and talk to him. I want you to convince him you know exactly what he did to Evelyn and why. If you can make him panic, I'm willing to bet he'll spill his guts. Just make it look like blackmail. If he's willing to pay to keep you quiet, he's basically tying his own noose. I'll listen in and record everything. Got it. Hi, Lee. What do you want, Chrome Boy? Is your name Lee Hong? Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it is. What if I just murdered What's him? it to you? I want to talk to you about Evelyn Carmichael. Ev... Man, it's all! True. I already told all yeah, you knockers um, all the way to say. Relax. Uh, I mean, I'm not with the police. It still works, but you I have to get them off their own. Make it look like you could say I specialize in cases like yours. If you ain't police, then what the fuck you want? A simple proposition. I have proof that shows you murdered Evelyn. And I want and you to pay me two and a half camp? million credits to make that proof disappear. Two and a half? Bullshit. You ain't got shit on me, Narco. I ain't paying you shit. No, I strongly I suggest you reconsider. And I strongly suggest you get the fuck out of my face. Because unless you got your proof right here, I ain't got shit to say to you. Alright. Let's start with the police report. I know your story doesn't match up Phoenix with the evidence right, at guess. the scene of Evelyn's fall. Oh yeah? And why's that? Uh, the police report was... falsified. Because the police report itself was falsified. Why else would that be, if not to cover up a weak alibi? Man, you gotta be kidding me. That's some weak ass shit right there. Not only does the evidence not add up, but neither does your testimony. You lied about why Evelyn fell down the stairs in the first place. You said you'd both been drinking heavily prior to the accident. And the reason Evelyn fell was because she was drunk. We both know that isn't true. Man, that shit was in the papers. Now, if the evidence doesn't fit and your story was a lie, and how did Evelyn die on that night? Adam Jensen's well, the answer is pretty simple, really. You killed her. But how? By hitting her in the head with that antique clock you keep so prominently displayed in your apartment. The lacerations on her head, the intracranial hemorrhaging, it's the perfect match. In my apartment? How the fuck do you know what's in my apartment? And like any good crime of passion, you needed motivation. Something to fuel your violent outbursts. What did Evelyn say or do to make you murder her? She told you she was pregnant, and you panicked. Faced with the prospect of losing your easy way of life, you struck out at her in anger. How? That's impossible. But now the final piece of the puzzle. Why was Evelyn's death never considered a murder investigation? Because your family, one of the wealthiest and most influential families in Shanghai, covered it up. But whose silence did they buy? Lim. Your family's sizable investments in Lim assured the autopsy performed on Evelyn's body would never see the light of day, and her death would simply fall through the cracks of an already crumbling justice system. Fuck this shit, man! And, and fuck you! I can help you, Lee. But only for a price. Alright, fuck! I can't believe this shit! I'll pay you, man! I'll pay you, just... What do you need from me? Details. Let me hear your side of the story, and then we'll move on from there. I don't... I don't know! Evelyn, that stupid bitch! She was going to ruin me. I... I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Evelyn wouldn't shut up about us, about the baby, so I hit her! I just wanted to make her shut her stupid mouth. But the dumb bitch started freaking out. So I hit her again un until I... Until she finally stopped screaming. When I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. She was barely breathing, so I carried her to the stairs near my apartment and, and dropped her. I had to make sure it looked like an accident. I had no choice. She trapped me. She just wanted my money. I would have been ruined. I need to go. We'll be in contact again soon. Huh? What? What about the evidence? 
and the money. Where the fuck you going? Goodbye, Lee. Better not be playing me for a fool. I ain't kidding. This is serious. No one even noticed that I knocked him out. Who? In the club. Oh, no, they noticed now. Okay, I'd, I definitely want to murder him. Just once, just to see it. Because it's so satisfying. Oh, who are you gonna murder? Lee. My knives, your chest. What the hell, okay, Jensen? Okay. I never said anything about killing him. <laughs> Would you believe me if I said it was an accident? Just meet me outside. Oh man, the whole club is afraid. <clears throat> Would you believe me if I said it was an accident? Malik seems pissed. Oh, what'd you say? She's like, I never say anything about killing him. And he's like, What the oh. hell, Jensen? I never said Whoops. anything about. It actually saves after you do that. I have to load my quick save. Oh, good job. And it kills the quest line at walk away from Lee. I guess you basically you oh, fail that part. If I could get Malik, like please tell me you've got a recording of all that. Oh my god, Jensen, I could kiss you right now. I can't believe you got him to confess so openly like that. To be honest, it was easier than I was expecting. You were definitely right about Lee. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, don't get too cocky just yet. Before I send our little friend's confession off to the local media and authorities, I want to get some Shanghai street justice first. There's a control panel linked to the hive I need you to hack. Uploading the coordinates now. I'm right there. Time to hack. I like how the hive has like a control panel inside the hive just to control the display at the front. Seriously, what? That's awesome. I mean, it is kind of awesome, but... Oh wow, this thing's going to be hard to do. Can't go. I just gotta take one route. Hope that's enough. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I think it's gonna be ASX. I'm probably gonna need to use some nukes on this thing. Alright, I'll see you guys later. See you later. Okay, I gotta capture both those things, so I'll nuke this one. Granted. I need to use two quick stops, but... Alright, Malik. It's hacked. Verifying the signal. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm in. Remote frequencies are clear, thank God. Uploading now. And... done. Meet me in front of the hive, Jensen. I have a little surprise for our friend Lee. Time to go out the front.
Jensen. Malik. Well, first take this. I was going to use it myself, but after everything you've done, I think you deserve it more. So what are you going to do now? I have a few loose ends to tie up, and I need to make sure this autopsy report finds its way into the right hands. The Hongs aren't going to buy their way out of this one. Lee's confession is solid. With that and the evidence from the autopsy, there's no way he can avoid prosecution. Justice will be served. Oh, justice will be served, all right. You might want to stick around for a second. I've got one last little surprise for our friend Lee. Are you facing the hive? It's almost showtime. In three, two... Malik. Just watch. I like how no one reacts to Malik, remind me never to the hive changing. After everything you've done here for Evelyn, for me, you'd have to try pretty hard, mister. Should I go back into the hive and talk to Lee? I'm guessing he won't say anything different though. Okay, let's go. Oh, uh, the, the telephone is really, really nice. Powerful, huh? Yeah, I'm using it in a bus fight. I have like 12 of them. Awesome. If there's one thing Deuce X is about, it's about augments fighting other augments. Sort of. My visit to Prague was related exclusively to the project. Something going the wrong way. Actually, I better vendor trash my stuff here. A best in town. Oh, Pep's energy. Maybe I should keep that. I'm gonna sell you the revolver, though. And let me sell you my beer. I like how wine costs like. Come back any time. What kind of crappy wine is that? Future one. We as a species stepped up to make things better. The future is full of cheap blocks. Okay, where was he? Was he on the third floor? You actually came back. My faith in human nature is restored. She has so, some kind of type in the own. smart card and my passport. Mm. Now start encoding. Well, that makes sense. You wouldn't be the only one with it. There you go. All shiny and bio-encoded, just like I promised. Something's going on. It's a CG cutscene. Where do I find this recording? On a surveillance server in the TYM tower. But that badge will only get you into the lower city factory via their employee shuttle. And how am I supposed to get up to the tower from down here? Never said it wouldn't require a little finesse. Look, the tricky part is getting through the pangle. But you're a resourceful guy. I have faith in you. Right. And after I'm through the floof? You'll be in the upper city tower. The server you want is in the central security hub. 